between the awareness and you can zoom in and out and as he pushes his hand forward. Um, if I step into the screen also, I'll be profiled. So you can see you. Hello, class, thanks for bringing it back. Bigger, smaller. You know, we need about, you know, we can handle some touching. Uh, we need about 75%. So the next thing we'll show you is a uh, prototype uh, interface. This was done in conjunction with a company called Ginny, uh, which was subsequently acquired. Um, but Ginny has a taste engine for video. So this was showing, was showing one way of navigating through different um, TV uh, signals. There's a control gesture, uh, the splitting of the hands. We wanted to make it easy but rich. Um, in this demo, it understands that Leo is Jordan doesn't really understand that yet, but that's the next step in that. But it does recognize his uh, physical stature, and he can navigate uh, among the different uh, videos. And then uh, add criteria. So it knew that Jordan likes a certain number of things. So you can uh, add further qualifiers based on plot or place or mood. It's one of the advantages. Check out the car, look at the headlights, you know, look up, lean forward, uh, get more information. Um, gives you that capability, and so you can see, you know, this is the, the, the uh, Panasonic particularly uses this this one demo because there's a lot of interest in how do you make signage more interesting and more interactive. Now, there's a lot of ways to do that. We've done so. Uh, we have a white paper on that uh, on the OMEC website. Um, some of it is interactive applications. Some of it is using just control because it's too loud. about touch screens not really going to work but because of issues of hygiene we think we can um, address those so uh, I think with that we will uh, wrap it up we have a booth outside we are very thankful for your uh, attention and your interest in what we do.